we are. Just Mike's to, trying to make go. the movie work. Is it tr is it recording? Yes. So here we are making soap. Now come have a close up of the soap. This is wood ash lye soap. And I read a new thing that says you're supposed to stir it from 3 to 36 hours. So here we are stirring the soap. This is this is the color. See the foam? And then you have to stir it till it's cold. So I put it in the bathtub hasten the cooling but they used to make kids do this and the kids job was to stir the soap so there it is and I'll show you the ashes later okay bye okay so this is the ash bin and you can use anything this is an old potato hopper but a bucket will do big holes don't matter how many holes there are because you put the ashes in see look at the ashes and the ashes, when you, you pour water on them, and the ashes pack down, then it drips out slowly, wood ash lye. And you get collect wood ashes lye and boil it down till it floats an egg. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, here's the finished soap. This is, see how creamy it is? And this is potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide. This stuff is medicine. Sodium hydroxide is red devil lye. Red devil lye is easier than making this soft soap. But this is medicine. It will heal cells from the inside out. Because the inside of cells has a potassium solution. It's like that sodium ion pump that makes stuff come in and out of cells. So Potassium hydroxide, which is what this is, will, here we go, rinses off, it's soap, it's not, you boil the beef fat with the lye at a 60 to 40 ratio, 60% beef fat or pork fat or whatever kind of fat you got, and there it is, it's medicine, it heals cells from the inside out, thank you Jesus.